Welcome back to our Jenkins tutorial series. In this episode, we will guide you through the process of adding credentials to the global credential manager in Jenkins, ensuring a secure and streamlined automation experience. Whether you are managing access to repositories, database, or external services, understanding how to handle credentials in Jenkins is crucial for the robust development environments. I have also created a playlist on Azure DevOps, Azure Function Apps, Azure Logic Apps, and Azure Database for MySQL. If you are interested, I will provide a link to those playlists in the description box. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. In the next video, we will learn about Jenkins pipelines. So to begin with, let's go to our browser. As I have already told you, Jenkins by default runs on localhost 8080. So to add credentials to the global credential manager on Jenkins, click on dashboard. If you are already on the dashboard, then click on manage Jenkins. Go to the security section here. Click on credentials. Here click on global. Add credentials. So here we will choose the type of the credentials we are going to use. So either we can have a GitHub app, we can have SSH username and pass private key, secret file, secret text, for example, access in database and other, all other services. So let's go with username and password. So then we have to enter the scope of the um, username and password or the credential that we are storing here. So the uh, scope of this uh, username and password will be Jenkins and then all the nodes that will be uh, connected to this and then items and all the child items. So I'm going to store my GitHub credentials here. So I will enter my GitHub username. I will enter the password. I can enter some ID for this password to easily differentiate it among all other credentials stored on the Jenkins. I can also enter some description. For this, then click on create to add more credentials click on add credentials choose the type of the credential that you are going to store enter the username and the password and choose the scope we can also change the scope to jenkins and nodes only and then click on create thanks